This morning I'm going to continue reading from the Ancient Aramaic Prayer of Jesus, the Lord's Prayer by Rocco A. Erico. This is uh, taken from chapter 2. And yet we have been taught to approach God as if we were totally degraded, no good, unworthy sinners. Jesus never taught us like this. Jesus never taught us this. It's a misunderstanding of scripture. There were many people Jesus contacted who were good people and not sinners. Jesus acknowledged the goodness in people when he gave the Beatitudes. He didn't say, blessed are the people who are going to become merciful or who are going to become pure in heart or who are, or who are going to become peacemakers. He said, Blessed are the merciful, blessed are the pure in heart, blessed are the peacemakers. There are people who are merciful, who are pure in heart, who are peacemakers. Jesus appealed to the good in people. Naturally, there were those who were going astray, but Jesus provided the means for them to be restored. No matter how far off the path some strayed, there was always a chance for reconciliation. Repentance and forgiveness were his way of restoration. Approaching God as Father immediately puts us in an intimate communion with him. Prayer should not be an attempt to get into union with God. Prayer is the very acknowledgement of and the very expression of that union. It is because we are his sons that we can communicate with our Father. At no time can there be separation from God. If we believe that we are cut off or separated from him, then it is we who bring the sense of division. It is not God who does this. It is our own mental attitude. God is, and he is everywhere. He hasn't changed. We have to change our wrong attitudes. When we call God Father, we, we are acknowledging our sonship with him. We don't work our way into it. We just naturally have sonship because we are his image and likeness. This opening phrase of the Lord's Prayer causes us to confess our union with the eternal living God, with the Father of all men. Thus, the very first attitude we are to have the first idea we are to tune into is that we are one with our Father now. All creation is in unison with infinite intelligence. Once the truth of our sonship is truly accepted, we don't have to affirm it. Our children are our children, and they know it. We too must settle this matter once and for all, and come to the realization that we are now God's sons. And so ends the reading for this morning.